Hello friends. So this is a Harvard physics problem and this is related to projectile motion. So in this case we have to find maximum trajectory length. So this problem says a ball is thrown at a speed v0 from zero height on ground level. At what angle should it be thrown so that the distance traveled through the air is maximum? So what we have here is, so we have a ball and this ball is thrown in the air. So let's say this ball is thrown with velocity v0 in the air. Now this ball will basically follow a projectile motion something like this. So this is the motion of the ball. So you know this is a projectile motion. So we have to find this length that is this length. So what is this length? And we have to also find theta for which this length will be maximum. So if you remember we can basically write velocity in x direction and y direction. So in this case velocity in x direction is simply v0 cos theta which will remain constant and the velocity in y direction is v0 sin theta. But there is a gravity so that is in the downward direction. So this velocity will change. So V by will be V naught sin theta minus GT. So this is my V by and this is my Vx. So I can write velocity and x direction is simply V naught cos theta which is constant and velocity in y direction is V naught sin theta minus gt because there is a acceleration due to gravity that is present. Now how we will find this length? So this means if you see at any point I know velocity in x direction and also in the y direction. So let us consider a small time delta t. So in this small time delta t, so let us say at this point of time we have a time t and then we are considering t plus delta t. So delta x will be simply vx times delta t. So this distance is delta x. Now similarly v by that is this uh, delta y that is this distance. So delta y will be v by times delta t. Now let us call this length as a delta L. So this length is delta L. So we can basically use Pythagoras theorem and we can write delta L is equals to delta x square plus delta y square. So delta L will be delta x we know that is Vx delta t and then delta y is equals to basically V by delta t. And in both case we have to square. And then basically I have to take root of this also. So this is my delta L. Now if I take delta T common and let us plug this side. So delta T if I take common and keep this, this side then I will simply have Vx square plus V by S square. So this is my delta L by delta T. Now what will happen if delta t goes to 0? So that is if delta t is very small that is delta t tends to 0 I can simply write delta L by delta t is nothing but dl by dt. So dl by dt is vx square plus v by s square. Now you can understand now we have to find total length so this is a small card length a small trajectory length. And now if I integrate this, so we can write dl is equals to under root vx square plus v by s square and dt. If I integrate this, then I will get total length. Now what will be the integration of time? So let's say l goes from 0 to l and time goes from 0 to what? So let's try to see. If you remember this is the point where we have maximum height 
and this projectile is basically symmetrical so this length this side length curved length and this side of curved length are basically equal so what we can do is we can integrate time up to this point that is the maximum height so now what is this time so maximum height time you can basically calculate so this time so this is the time corresponding to maximum height so let us find time corresponding to maximum height so time corresponding to maximum height so now when there is a maximum height this means there is no more movement in the y direction in that case v by will be zero so what is the condition that is v by is equals to zero when we have a maximum height and v by is nothing but v naught sin theta minus g t and this is equals to zero so from here i can say t is equals to v naught sin theta by z so this is the time corresponding to maximum height so now let us put this time here so we can write this limit is simply v naught sin theta by z now this is only half length so only half of the side so if i want to find total length i have to multiply this by 2 because this is a symmetrical curve so now i can write l is equals to 0 and there is a 2 multiplied 0 to time t that is v not sin theta divided by z and this is nothing but vx square plus v by a square under root and then i have to basically integrate with respect to the time so you see this integration is with respect to time now simply we have to integrate so let us try to do integration now everything is basically mathematics so l is equals to we can write two times 0 to v not sin theta by z and vx is what vx is constant that is v not cos theta and what is v by basically v not sin theta minus gt and whole square and this multiplied by dt so we have to integrate with respect to, with respect to time let us take v not cos theta common so we can take v not cos theta common so we will have 0 to v not sin theta by z and if you take v not sin theta v not cos theta common so here you will have 1 plus and then you have to divide so this will become tan theta sin theta by cos theta that will be tan theta minus gt divided by v not cos theta and this is whole square so what we have done we have basically taken v not cos square theta outside of the root and then we have divided every term by v not cos square theta so we will have something like this now we have to do this integration so what we will do is we will make a substitution so let us assume this term is equals to z so what we are doing is so we are assuming so we are making a substitution z is equals to tan theta minus gt divided by v not cos theta so this is the substitution we are going to make now dz will be what theta is constant so this will be zero and now this minus z by v not cos theta and t is simply dt so i can write from here dt is equals to minus v not cos theta divided by z times dz so let us make this substitution we can also find the limit so what will the limit on t and z so when t is equals to 0 what will be the value of z so if you put t is equals to 0 z is simply tan theta and when put t is equals to v not upper limit v not sin theta divided by z in that case z will be simply so put this here 
and then you will find this will be 0. So try to verify yourself. So z is equals to tan theta minus g v naught cos theta and time is nothing but v naught sin theta divided by z. So v naught cancels out, z cancel out and sin theta by cos theta is tan theta. So this is tan theta. So this is tan theta minus tan theta. So this is 0. So upper limit is 0 and the lower limit is simply tan theta. So let us make this substitution. So what we will have, we will have L is equals to, this is 2V naught cos theta. So if you see here, so this is what we have. So we have 2V naught cos theta. So here we have 2V naught cos theta. So same thing, 2V naught cos theta and limit will be, what will be the limit? Limit is, lower limit is 0, uh, lower limit is tan theta, sorry, so lower limit is tan theta and the upper limit is 0. And then what we have done, anything that is inside the root, so we have made this as a z. So this is simply 1 plus z square, so 1 plus z square. And dt is what? dt we have already calculated, that is nothing but, so this is dt is nothing but minus v naught cos theta by z times dz. So if I rearrange and we can write everything, so we will have this minus goes here. So minus 2 v naught cos theta and this v naught v naught twice, so this is 2 v naught square and the cos square theta and this divided by z and limit will be from tan theta to 0. So this is the limit and this is 1, 1 plus z square dz. So now how do we integrate this? If you remember, the, this is a uh, typical integration. So if you remember this kind of formula, a square plus x square dx. So integration of this is simply 1 by 2x under root x square plus a square and this is a square log of mod x plus under root x square plus a square. So this is a well known formula that is used in any calculus textbooks. So in this case what we have in our case in place of x we have z and in place of a we have 1. So we can simply write the formula will be 1 plus z square dz. So this will be 1 by 2 and in place of x we will write z and this is z square plus 1 plus and this a square will be simply 1 and then this is log mod of z plus z square plus 1. So if I plug this we will have, so we already have minus 2 v naught square cos square theta this divided by z and then integration we already know and uh, that is this thing. So we already know that the integration of this is this. This is the final integration and the limit is the upper limit is 0 and the lower limit is tan theta. So if you remember you see here upper limit is 0 and the lower limit is tan theta. So we can calculate of a uh, value of this expression. So let us plug uh, 0. So this will be 1 by 2 and z is 0, so this is 0 and this is log of and z is 0, so this is simply 1, so this term is 0. So this term is 0, so this is upper limit minus lower limit. So lower limit will be minus 1 by 2 and this will be z is tan theta, so tan theta and 1 plus tan square theta which is basically sec square theta. So let us write here tan square theta plus 1. And then plus, so I am writing it here, plus log mod of z as z is what? z is tan theta plus a square root tan a square theta plus 1. 
so this is what we have so let us simplify a little bit further so we will have minus 2b naught square cos square theta divided by z and this term is already zero so this term is zero so this term will be minus of 1 by 2 and this is tan theta so this is let us write something like this tan theta and 1 plus tan square theta is nothing but sec theta and plus log of tan theta and 1 plus tan square theta is sec theta and if you take the root so this is simply sec theta so this is the final expression so we can further rewrite this so L is equals to minus minus cancels out. So we will have and 2 also cancels out. So this term 2 and this term 2 cancels out. So we will have V naught square cos square theta by Z. And we will have this term will be tan theta sec theta plus log of tan theta sec theta tan theta plus set theta so we can basically further rewrite v naught cos square theta divided by z and this i can write sin theta by cos theta which is tan theta so this will become sin theta by cos square theta and this will be log of 1 plus and this will be uh, if I take uh, sin theta tan theta is sin theta by cos theta so this will be sin theta plus 1 which is 1 plus sin theta divided by cos theta so this is the final length so this is the trajectory length so we can basically find so for any given theta for any given theta this is the trajectory length so for different theta I will have different trajectory length and L is a function of theta only. So L will be maximum only when dL by d theta is 0. So to maximize L, so L will be maximum when dL by d theta is equals to 0. So if you differentiate this. So the very simple differentiation so if you differentiate this that is dl by d theta is equals to 0 and I am leaving this uh, for you you can try this on your own so this is a simple differentiation this will be 1 is equals to sin theta and this is log 1 plus sin theta divided by cos theta now if you solve this so what we have we have a equation and we have to solve for theta now this cannot be solved so there is a no closed form solution so closed form solution does not exist you can try iteration method for example you can take theta is equals to 45 degree and then you can try to find whether this term this satisfies or not and then you can increase theta and then again further you can do this in any software program what you can do is you can basically define a term y is equals to 1 minus sin theta ln 1 plus sin theta divided by cos theta and then for each theta you can basically find by so if you plug this in MATLAB or any software package mathematical software package you can find theta so in this case if you solve this you will find theta is equals to 56.5 degree gives the maximum trajectory length so for maximum trajectory length theta naught is equals to 56.5 degree so I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and this problem was taken from Harvard physics problem this is a good problem and this covers the concept of uh, velocity and it also covers the concept of trajectory length how do you calculate trajectory length how do you maximize and it also test your uh, concept in calculus so if you like this video please like and subscribe i will see you in the next video thank you